Hello students, welcome to Mizo study and welcome to my class. Today I am going to discuss colligative property and few, few formulas from electrochemistry also. Clear? So, let us start the topic. I am starting from this side. This is the colligative, colligative properties. Clear? We know the properties which depends only on the quantity, only on the quantity. Clear to you, this, there are four colligative properties. First of all, this is the relative lowering in VP, relative lowering in vapor pressure. The second one is osmotic pressure, okay. The third one is elevation, elevation in BPT boiling point yes the fourth one we have that is depression depression in freezing point clear these are uh, these are the four colligative property and they are interlinked each uh, with each other and by using one colligative property we can find the another colligative properties and one more thing colligative properties are generally used to find the mass molecular mass of the unknown substance unknown solute clear to you first of all what is relative lowering in vapor pressure that is that will be equal to p naught minus p s upon p naught is equal to n a upon n a plus n b that is the mole fraction of solute okay the next formula P naught minus P S upon P S that will be equal to N A upon N B. You can use this formula also. Now, next one osmotic pressure. Osmotic pressure, the symbol is pi. Pi is equal to C S T in book. This is the solvation constant. It can be replaced by R. So, we can write pi is equal to C R T, C is the concentration and T is the temperature and R is the gas constant. Generally, the value of R is 0 0.0821 or 8.314. So, pi will be equal to, we write M R T, here the concentration is molarity. It can be represented like this, pi is equal to N A upon V R T or pi is equal to W A upon M A into V R T. Clear? Two solution having same osmotic pressure. Two solution having same osmotic pressure are called isotonic solution. Pi 1 is equal to pi 2. If the first solution having high osmotic pressure, then it is known as hypertonic solution. Hypertonic and this one is hypotonic. Clear? Yes, sir, clear completely. Now, the next one is elevation. I do not have enough time because this is a formula class to discuss all the topics in detail. I am just giving you, you can uh, say the screenshot of the book. Clear to you? That is the brief, uh, briefing this chapter, elevation in boiling point. Elevation in boiling point, that is, there is an increment in the boiling point. That is the symbol is delta Tb is equal to K B into M. What is K B? We know K B is equal to molar elevation constant, molar elevation constant and M is equal to molality, M is equal to molality and delta T B that is the elevation in boiling point. Clear? Yes, sir. Now, we have depression in freezing point. Depression in freezing point delta T f is equal to K f into m. m is again molality and K f is equal to molar elevation constant. These are generally used for idle solution that is for non-electrolyte solution. If there is association or dissociation take place, suppose in case of if I consider Na3PO4 solution or Na2SO4 solution, Na, NaCl solution, these are electrolyte. Now, in this case, uh, the, uh, what will happen? Is there any change in the colligative property? Yes. Now, if there is an association or dissociation, then in this case, we multiply, we correct the colligative property by using I. I is called Wendt Hoff factor. Clear to you, if there is association and dissociation, if dissociation 
if dissociation then the value of i is greater than 1 if association then the value of i is less than 1 and the corrected form is p naught minus p s upon p naught is equal to i x a or pi is equal to i c r t or delta t b is equal to i k b into m clear and delta t f is equal to i k f into m. Now, this formula can be used in case of idle as well as in case of a solution containing uh, electrolyte and for idle solution i is equal to always 1. Is it clear to you? Yeah. Now, the next one is I am taking the few formula from the chapter electrochemistry. We know electrochemistry we discuss the conversion of electrical energy into chemical energy or vice versa that is chemical energy into electrical energy. Generally, we have the first formula we know uh, Faraday's second law W1 upon W2 is equal to that is E1 upon E2, this is a general formula, yes, Faraday's first law that is W is equal to ZIT, that is W is directly proportional to Q or W is equal to ZQ, clear, that is, that is called electrochemical equivalent Q is equal to IT, this is the Faraday's statement of Faraday's first law, this is a statement of Faraday's <coughs> second law. Now, we have the term anode at anode oxidation take place always and at cathode whether it is a electrolytic cell or galvanic cell and reduction. But in case of electrolytic cell, if I consider electrolytic cell that is conversion of electrical energy into chemical energy that is electricity is used for chemical decomposition. In this case anode is taken as positive anode in this case taken as positive and cathode is taken as negative symbol. But in case of galvanic cell or Daniel cell, galvanic cell where chemical uh, energy, chemical energy convert into electrical energy like dry cell, uh, li uh, lithium uh, batteries, secondary batteries. Now, in this case the anode has sign negative and the cathode has sign positive, be careful. But in both the cases, anode in anode there is oxidation take place and in cathode there is a reduction take place, but sign differs, clear? Yes sir. Now we know uh, resistance, resistance is equal to rho L upon A. Now we have conductance, uh, G is equal to 1 upon R, we have cell constant G star is equal to L upon A we have kappa, kappa is equal to 1 upon rho, uh, 1 upon resistivity. Now, the next one is kappa have formula G into G star also, that is K is equal to 1 upon R into L upon A, next formula, yes sir, clear to you, yes. Now, we have the formula, next one is molar conductivity, that will equal to 1000 into kappa upon molarity, we have equivalent conductivity also. Now, molar conductivity at infinite dilution, uh, this can be found by using the Colross law. Yes sir, what is the Colross law? Suppose we have component A B, it uh, dissociate like this A plus and B plus. In this case, molar conductivity at infinite dilution of A, uh, a B will be equal to ionic conductivity of A. Uh, that is ionic conductivity of cation and ionic conductivity A plus and B minus and ionic conductivity of anion. This is the case. Clear? So, how to find here? Suppose we have A B 2, then what will happen? It will bring like the, uh, it will written like this A, A 2 plus and 2 B minus, yes. So, according to the Colross law, molar conductivity at infinite dilution is equal to ionic conductivity of cation that is A2 plus and here 2 anion, so 2 ionic conductivity of anion. This is the statement of Colossus law. Now, what is the relation between uh, 
आइनिक मोलर कंडक्टिविटी एट इनफिलाइट डाइल्यूशन एंड मोलर कंडक्टिविटी एट अ पर्टिकुलर कंसेंट्रेशन दिस इज डन दिस वाज गिवन बाय डिवाइड हकल ऑन सगर इक्वेशन दैट इज मोलर कंडक्टिविटी एट अ पर्टिकुलर कंसेंट्रेशन इज इक्वल टू मोलर कंडक्टिविटी एट इनफिनाइट डाइल्यूशन माइनस ए रूट सी दिस इज द इक्वेशन डिवाइड हकल ऑन सगर इक्वेशन क्लियर यस सर नाउ द नेक्स्ट फॉर्मूला वी हैव वी नो स्टैंडर्ड इलेक्ट्रॉड पोटेंशियल इज इक्वल टू कैथोड माइनस स्टैंडर्ड इलेक्ट्रॉड पोटेंशियल एट कैथोड एंड स्टैंडर्ड इलेक्ट्रॉड पोटेंशियल एट एनोड नाउ दिज आर द नर्स्ट इक्वेशन ई सेल इज इक्वल टू ई नॉट सेल माइनस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो फाइव नाइन वन अपॉन एन लॉग प्रोडक्ट कंसनट्रेशन अपॉन रिएक्टेंट कंसनट्रेशन दिस इज अ जनरल स्टेटमेंट यस सर दिस इज कॉल्ड नर्स्ट इक्वेशन नर्स्ट equation now next one delta g not is equal to minus n f e not cell now the next formula delta g is equal to delta g not minus 2.303 rt log q at equilibrium delta g is equal to 0 so we will write delta g not is equal to minus 2.303 rt log k this is another method clear by using this formula you can solve the problems related to the electrochemistry is it clear yes sir we can solve okay generally they ask question from this topic that is nonst equation maximum number of questions are asked and then electrochemical series we know the arrangement of the different substances or radicals um, or ions uh, as per their uh, standard reduction potential value give rise to a series which is known as electrochemical series clear yes sir so uh, if you have a command over this formula then you can solve the maximum number of question from the electrochemistry clear to you now my friend time has come time to say bye bye thank you so much